Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode 14 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm a little excited. I just figured out how to do something, and uh, we're going to do it today. Now, what I'm hype about is making my own template. So I was browsing around in the Black Ops 3 folder, and I came across Rex. Now, when I went into Rex, I clicked on that, and I noticed the templates. So I click on template, and I actually made my own template. That way, whenever I make a brand new map, it'll load up the scripts or at least the dot map that I wanted to. That way, I could just start building my map from there. And I don't have to use this ZM mod level. I can make my own. Now, let me show you guys how I did this. All right, so click on ZM mod level. Copy it. There you go. Now, we're going to put it in a folder. That way we can modify it and make it the way we want. Let me just delete this old one that I had so I can show you guys from scratch. All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to paste it here. Now, the reason we're modifying a different one is because we don't want to change the original, just in case you want to go back to it. So we're going to make our own. So right now it says ZM mod level. <clears throat> I'm going to rename it, and I'm going to put... custom ZM mod level right there. Now, if I go inside of it, it's going to have two folders. It's going to say map source, and it's also going to say user map. Now, under map source, if you double click on it, it'll go to ZM, double click on that. It'll go to template map. So this is the template map that it's loading up. Now we can actually change this into our own. So let's say if I go into Radiant and you know, this is the template map right here. Now let's say uh, it's, I don't like this textures or I don't like this world and I wanna make it into something else. You know, I still want all these items, you know, like the perk machines, the power switch, the pack a punch. Like me, I like making my map from scratch. So I really don't like this template. So what I would do is make my own. So I'm going to go over to File. I'm going to click on New Map. I'm going to make a new, brand new template map. Now let's say I'm going to drag out a first box that I, wanna, I want my template to start up with. So I'm going to drag out a box. Let me show you guys real quick. All right. I'm going to top view and let me go to the front. Okay, I want the floor to start here. Give me a second. All right. Now, this is my uh, starting floor. Let me give it a brand new texture. Show all. Well, let me hit T for textures. There we go. Now, let's say uh, floor. Let me just pick out a cool texture. Decal, no, no, no. All right, I'm going to pick this over here. All right, that's going to be my starting floor. And let's say I want my first map to start with a, a room. You know, make some walls. I'm going to make them this high. There we go. Copy that. Now, I'm just making a brand new template. If anything, I'm going to make a specific one for you guys to start off with, but I'm just showing you how you would make your own. You know, you don't have to make a room. Like me, I just want to start off with one. That way, when I load it up, you guys can see exactly what I mean. All right, now let's say uh, the template walls are going to be uh, these walls over here. Let's do these. These look cool. All right, so this is uh, my start map. Now, of course, we're going to need the initial spawn points. So I'm going to right click. Actually, I'm going to go over to browser, press B, go over to MISC, and go over to prefab, drop the prefab over here. Now, I'm going to need these initial spawn points because if I don't have that, I'm not going to spawn in. My game's not going to load. So I have a prefab of that right over here. Uh, spawn points, there it is. Just bring them over here. 
All right. Make sure I bring them down. All right, cool. So I have my spawn points. There they are. Now let me put in a player spawn because, of course, I'm going to need that too. So uh, I actually have it. Nope, I deleted it. Okay. So go to info, player, start. I'm going to pop one right over here, or at least right in the middle. Let's see. There we go. Hold shift, press D, rotate him. Make sure he's not in the floor. There we go. Now, also, we have to make a zone so we don't die as soon as we spawn in. So I'm going to go over to info. And I'm going to go to volume. Drag that over. There we go. Now I'm going to make a quick zone. Like you can make it bigger. Like I'm just going to make my template map this size. All right. There we go. All right. Now remember, you have to give it some KVPs. So I'm going to call this target name start underscore zone. Press enter. And then I'm going to go to script, noteworthy, and player underscore volume. There we go. All right, now my first zone is done. Now uh, let's, let me put in a sky. That way I won't have to do this later. So let me uh, go over to volume. Let me shrink all this down. Like, just bear with me, guys. It's, I'm going to get to the good stuff. All right. And sun. All right. Pop one there. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Now, for it being the sun, we're going to want this covering up pretty much a big portion of the map. So let me do it right there. Because if I make my worlds a little bit bigger... I won't have to worry about moving the sun later. And there we go. And let me bump it up like there. And right here. All right, now the sun is done. Cool. All right, so let me change the sky. Because I don't want it to start off looking like this. So let me select the sun. Press N on the keyboard. And I'm going to go right over here. It's a light state, or at least for the sky. Let me see. Uh, I haven't done this before, so let's see. Okay, I'm going to click on default. Click on these three dots. And here we go. ZM Factory. Double click on that. And I should have the factory sky now. There you go. There it is. Let me deselect. Let me hit F8. And there we have it. Now we have the zombie sky. So that's going to be my template sky for when I load up this template map. And I think that's all we would need for it to load up. You know, if you want, add the box, add them all, add all the perks. And, um, you know, the dogs and zombies. You know, just put it in an area where it's not going to be in the way and you can just start building a map. All right, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to click File, go to Save As, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Actually, I'm going to save it in that folder I just made. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to call this um, Sample. I'm going to change this name anyway, so it doesn't matter. There we go. I saved it. Let's get out of that. All right. Now, <clears throat> let me go to that folder I made earlier. Now, here's the sample map. Now I'm going to go into custom ZM mod level, map source, ZM. I'm going to copy this name, copy template. There you go. Now I'm going to delete it. Oop, it just backspaced. Delete. Get this one, rename it, paste that in there. And let's uh, copy it. Let's bring it in. Go to map source, ZM. 
paste it right here. Now, let's say if I was doing, uh, if I wanted to start off with zones already hooked up, you know, you would just go over to user maps, go to template, go to scripts, go to ZM, and here it is. Now, don't change any of these template names because they're going to get changed as soon as you make a new map. But you can go into it and modify it. So, like, let's say if you have Widow's Wine and you have, like, a bunch of other scripts and you know that you're always going to be using those scripts, you know, just modify it now. That way you can just drop the prefab in and you don't have to worry about doing anything else. Now, my zones aren't hooked up. That's that's fine. You know, it still has the initial start zone right over here. So, you know, you could hook up your zones. You could hook up any custom um, perks you have and just modify it. Never change the template name. The only one that we modified was the starting template, which was in map source. There we go. Now, custom mod level. Actually, let's change it. Let's go to, let's put this as new ZM mod level. <clears throat> now let's copy it. There we go. Now we're going to go over to the Black Ops 3 root folder. We're going to go over to Rex. We're going to go into templates. And here are the three templates that come with the game by default. We're going to paste it right over here with the other ones. Close that out. Now let's open up Launcher. Now I'm going to make a new map. All right, so new. And I'm going to call it, please, well, ZM underscore please work. Because I'm going to look like a dick if it doesn't. All right, go to ZM mod level. Oh, actually, we made our own. So now it's right here. ZM, a uh, new ZM mod level. Click on that. Bow, baby. Look at that, people. Who's the man? All right, click OK. Bow made all the scripts for us, and it renamed everything to the new map name. Press OK. Now let's open this bad boy up in Radiant. So here it is right over here. Please work. Open up in Radiant. Now let's see if it made our dot map template. And there we go. Now, there we go, people. Look at that. It's our own custom template. Now let's compile this and make sure that it works. You always want to compile your template first because if it doesn't work, why would you make it as a template? So we're going to go all, the, all of these right over here. Now, I am going to come out with another template, which is going to have everything for you guys to get your map started. You know, this is just for the tutorial purposes on why I made this one that quick. You know, I'm going to have to take a little bit more time making the map. But as you can see, there's no right errors. Everything's working good. You know, so for all of you that are having issues making a map from scratch, this will really help you out. And later on today, I'm going to make my um, a custom one for everybody. All right, cool. So let me go to Steam. I'm going to open. You know, I'm going to put all the necessary items that have to go into your map. And, uh, it's, you know, with this working, no one's going to have any issues. Thank you, Triarch. You're the bomb. And I have off for the next couple of days, so I'm going to be knocking out videos as much as I can. Hey, my microphone is working. And here we have it. There's our template. And as you can see, nothing is in the map. I can modify it and just start building my map from there. And I have a brand new sky to work with. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe, because I need the subscribers. My channel is kind of small. And, uh, it's, you know, just show me some love. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.